my name is Kyle and we work here at Great Peck Action and today we're going to show you how to rebuild a Kremlin 1014 fluid section. So the first thing you have to do is the disassembly of the pump you have. The first step is to disconnect the fluid section from the air motor section. To remove the fluid section from the air motor, you first need to remove the nuts from the tie rods. The next step after that is to remove the cotter pin from the axis pin, which connects the fluid piston rod to the air motor piston. Now that the nuts are removed and the cotter pin is removed, you can now separate the fluid section from the air motor. The next step is to remove the cylinder. Now that you've removed the cylinder, you want to remove this black cylinder O-ring. Now that the cylinder has been removed, you can remove the lower suction valve assembly. Once the assembly has been removed, you can take off the white o-ring that seals it to the cylinder. This part will also come in the kit. For the next step, I'll send it over to Kyle at the vise. The first step in disassembling the suction valve assembly is to remove the ball cage. To remove the ball cage, you're going to need a vise and a vise grip. The ball cage is not a threaded piece, so it can just be pulled off. When using the vise grip, be careful not to squeeze too hard on the cage because it can damage the case. Once the ball cage is removed, you then have to remove the clip out of the cage so that it releases the ball. The clip sits inside a groove inside the cage. The easiest way to get it out is to use like a, a sharp pick of some sort. Once you've removed the clip, the ball simply just falls out and you can actually dispose of the ball and the clip because they come in the seal kit as well. To remove the piston, you simply push it down through the cartridge. Now I'll show you how to remove the exhaust valve assembly from the piston rod. The U-cup and the ball can be disposed of because they come in the kit. The last step is to remove the fluid outlet fitting and the cartridge. When removing the cartridge, you first have to remove the seat clip and then the cartridge, you have to punch it down through the flange. It, has to, it can only go one way, so you have to make sure you punch it down. then take off the black o-ring because that comes in the seal kit. If the cartridge is bad, you can just pitch the whole thing because that will be, the o-ring will be on the new cartridge. Now that all the hard parts have been assembled in the fluid section, uh, it's now time to soak and clean your parts. We soak our parts for 48 hours in an acrid strip bath. Uh, you can also use mineral spirits and paint thinner. And then once we come back, we'll show you how to reassemble the pump.